Hi, my name is Ben Lee, and I made this paper mache pug, and I want to show you how I painted it. First, I used a black primer to do the dark areas and the shadows, and then I used a white primer to paint the rest of it, especially to hide all that newspaper. The base color here is a sandy tan color for the pug. Whenever you're painting on a black background, use an opaque white first so that the colors on top don't get lost in the black. Use a white or light color to bring out features like lips and uh, the curls of the nose, and use black to depress any recessed features like folds of skin. Anytime you're painting or drawing, definitely use a reference photo like this, and it will let you place uh, the mouth, the eyebrows, the nose, and folds of skin all relative to each other. Refer to that often. The folds of skin are a sharp contrast with the tan skin color here, so I used a darker tan to blend them into each other. When I went to do the eyes, I started out with the whites of the eyes, which is just a thin sliver between the large pupil and the eyelid. I, s I cut circular discs to mask off the pupil to create a hard edge, and then I used putty to mask off everything outside the eye. When I, go, when I went to paint the brown pupils, I needed to first paint a white opaque primer on top of the black, otherwise the brown would just, it wouldn't stand out on top of the black. And I wanted that middle iris to be a deep black, so I masked it off with a small ball of putty to get a sharp edge. And I wanted a soft feathered black edge around the pupil, so I didn't mask that at all. Once the eyes were colored, I went in and detailed the pupils, adding a little color variation so they're, they're not just perfectly uniform anymore, and it adds a lot of realism. And finally, once I did that, I needed to add a high gloss finish to make it shine, to make it bright. I used an acrylic floor polish called Future, and it really makes it look wet. For the nose, I did the same as before. Any features I wanted to bring out, I painted white. Any features I wanted to recess, I painted black. I used that reference photo a lot. Any hard edges I masked, any soft edges I just did freehand. And then I also made the nose a little bit wet. And here it is. If you can dream it, I can make it into a piñata. I started out with cardboard and newspaper, and I brought it to life. Thanks for watching.